bipartisan analysis of President Biden's American Families Plan finds that instead of boosting growth, it would actually drag down GDP because of the size of the national debt. The Penn Wharton budget model estimates that the human capital investments in universal preschool, free community college, and national pay leave program, those tally up to $2.5 trillion, about $700 billion more than the White House expects. Meanwhile, the tax hikes, like raising the top rate to 39.6 percent and treating capital gains as ordinary income, that only brings in $1.3 trillion, also less than White House estimates. Now, higher costs, less revenue, mean more debt and less growth. Penn Wharton projects the family's plan would reduce GDP by 0.3 percent from the baseline in 2031 and nearly 0.4 percent 30 years from now. Now, the model does find that average hourly wages would increase thanks to improved productivity, but those gains would not be big enough to offset the drag from the debt. Now, the White House is pushing back against these numbers this afternoon. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said they strongly disagree and pointed instead to an analysis by Moody's earlier this week that had a much rosier economic outcome. So, Kelly, the tipping point here appears to be what the final cost of the president's plan will be and how much deficit spending that Congress is actually willing to swallow. Back but over Penn to you. Wharton generally is a pretty trusted source. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's run by someone who I believe worked for one of the Bush administrations. It's a nonpartisan outlet and um, is re relatively and reliably seen as an accurate forecaster. Of course, these numbers are going to be all over the place, though, um, as we get more details of what these spending plans actually look like. And of course, once we see what Congress has to say as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.